This sound is consistent. Throughout the wonderfully sound designed film, Oppenheimer. Christopher Nolan is notorious for weaving together time, themes, and narratives into the tightest of bows. But with Oppenheimer, he outdone himself. The film also contains by far the best scene of Nolan's distinguished career. And I'm going to break it down. I'm Marcus Flemings. This is Cinema is Dying. This scene, which takes place two hours and six minutes into its three hour runtime, is by far the best scene in the film. And it doesn't have any explosions and no quotable dialogue. J. Robert Oppenheimer, played by the always brilliant Killian Murphy, has just successfully tested his magnus opus in the New Mexico desert. This recurring sound, which initially sounds like a train, is finally revealed after two hours of stamping feet. A building and forceful sound. The sound of exuberance. The sound of victory. The sound of patriotism. Oppenheimer reluctant takes his applause. The film, due to Nolan's inherent sensibilities, often finds itself too loud with music and pathos, when at times it would be better served with just quiet. However, this scene does everything perfectly. Throughout the film, Oppenheimer comes across as cocky, slightly arrogant, but with a softer side, an undertone of moral fragility. There is every chance that this scene was not filmed in front of that crowd. What the results of the bombing are. This line. But I'll bet the Japanese didn't like it. This is him putting on a facade to appease the overly nationalistic crowd. This here is incredible acting from Murphy. Look at those eyes. Pure so fear. Whether or not the crowd is there, the look of dread impending, the conflict with his morals and his desire to appease are all etched on his face. Just wish we had it in time to use against the Germans. Nolan here comes into his own. The removal of the crowd noises is genius from a genius director. Again, Nolan can't get out of his own way. The removal of the sound of the crowd was enough to create the impact we needed. And then a time jump, Nolan's favorite trick. However, he goes a step further by playing with the visuals as well. Playing with ours and Oppenheimer's fears that his bomb may be the first path on the way towards the end of mankind. Reaction shot. If you've watched my videos by now, you know I love reaction shots. And this is why. Fantastic reaction shot here. Sex and passion, the two things needed for procreation. The creation of life, the inverse of his fears. Triumph is trumped by reality. No matter what anyone tells you, this scene is the best piece of filmmaking that Christopher Nolan has done in his almost 30 year career. You think anyone in Hiroshima 
Nagasaki gives a shit who built the bomb. They care who dropped it. I did. Hiroshima isn't about you. Oppenheimer is not Christopher Nolan's best film. In fact, it's not his best film by some distance. It has its flaws. It's maybe too long. There's too much music playing over the dialogue. What makes this scene the best one of his career? Unlike any other Christopher Nolan film so far, maybe Bar Memento, he really plays with the silences here. He uses silence as a weapon, as a cinematic tool. Over time, Nolan has become a more successful director. He's almost untouchable at this stage. Any subject he wants to make a film about, he will get greenlit. Studios are climbing over themselves to work with Christopher Nolan. He's guaranteed box office, he's guaranteed blockbuster, and he's guaranteed to put bums on seats. And for the first time in his career with Oppenheimer, he's maybe guaranteed to win Oscars. But this scene in particular is the reason why the Oscar should be his. The camera work is simplistic in this scene. The way he plays with sound and silence in this particular scene is genius. When you think of Nolan, you think big. You think big set pieces, big cameras, big performances. This scene is the exact opposite of all of those sensibilities that he's had in all his big blockbusters. And it's the very reason why all those years ago, when I first saw Memento, I thought the guy was a genius. It is my favorite piece of filmmaking from Christopher Nolan, and it's his best filmmaking. Now, if you love films like I do, please subscribe to the channel. If you have done so already, thank you so very much. Do hit the notification button as well. Leave a comment. Do you think this is the best scene in Christopher Nolan's career? And until we speak again, big love.